ABC presents Tuesday Movie of the Week. with all the glamour and all the insanity traditionally associated with a Hollywood premiere. We'll be visiting in the next 90 minutes both New York and London, but right now, glimpses of some of the people we'll be meeting later. Anne Margaret, Elton John, Paul and Linda McCarthy, Dean Martin, Cameron, Diana Ross back from Rome, Tatum O'Neill, Richard Chamberlain looking extremely happy, Tommy's mothers and Dick's mothers looking equally happy. Valerie Perrine. Carl Reiner grabbing at the lifeline. David Jensen. There's Tony Orlando. Sally Kellerman. Rod McEwen. Waylon Flowers. The Lockers. Flash Cadillac and the Continental Kids. Tommy himself, Roger Dolphin. Keith Moon. Creator, Pete Townsend. And scenes from the movie Tommy. Tina Turner. Oliver Reed. And of course, Jack Nicholson. Little drops of tooth polish. Because it's nice and easy. Just brush it on every morning. Easy. Your teeth will be clean. Nice. Pro Drops leaves your teeth their brightest, their whitest. Pro Drops shines. Oh, what a great feeling. Hello, I'm Vincent Price. For many years now, mankind and his offspring have been searching for an alternative to peanut butter and jelly. After employing the latest methods in technology, the Peter Paul Candy Company has found the alternative to peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter with no jelly. Pure, creamy peanut butter dotted with Krispies, covered with pure milk chocolate, but no jelly. I'm sure you're as pleased as I am. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alan Ludden, and these are the contestants who will be playing today with Betty White and Vicki Lawrence. And the name of the game is Password. <laughs> if
if you buy one more thing, we'll need a new car to get it home. Oh, George. You ask for it. The new Toyota Corolla Liftback. Room for people and groceries. This Toyota's five-speed overdrive gets great Toyota gas mileage. If you can find a better-built small car than Toyota, buy it. Corolla Liftback and new Sport Coupe. You ask for it, you got it. What do you say to Martini and Rossi? Yes. Yes. To Martini and Rossi. On the rocks. A motion picture of unearthly power. Escape to Witch Mountain. Well, hunted. You have power. Well, I want to be able to understand these powers. Their only hope is escape to Witch Mountain. Rated G. very privileged to include the very first and only television interview with Robert Plant, Led Zeppelin's lead vocalist, which was taped in March 1975. And now, our midnight special salute to Led Zeppelin. days that the critics and uh, press and people in general took us for being um, what, probably the innovators of hard rock and and they took us for being the band who made a whole lot of love and and plant was the squeeze my lemon boy yeah. and all that sort of thing and full stop and so you got people coming along for the sole purpose of uh, getting their colloquial rocks off you know mm -hmm. But I think that we've tried to prove, or we have proven, with the albums that have come out in the past <coughs> six and a half years, that uh, the only reason that we are still together is that the subtlety of 
of delicate change in the music mm -hmm. is, you know, the, the thing that keeps us together. And so people come along now and they, they come to see the changes, you know. Mm -hmm. They don't come to sort of jump up and down and go and, and do whatever ladies do in the first yeah, round. Spinning off on that, because obviously, and I know you're well aware of that, so many rock and roll groups and famous groups uh, split up and they go in their own ways. You guys have been together, I think, six and a half years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's still tight. And well, you can we, see it on stage that it's tight, you know. And yeah. that, that kind of respect you have for each other. And how do you kind of maintain that? Well, really, because of the fact that we have been able to, to keep creating uh, material that uh, varies so much, you know. Uh, there's so many aspects of our imagination that can be brought out in the music. When... Uh, when you and I were boys back in the Midwest, right. governments, federal, state, and local, were only taking about 15 cents out of every dollar earned. Today, they're taking almost half of every dollar earned in the United States. And most people don't realize it because the taxes are hidden in the so-called business taxes. You know, the politician that stands up and yells, oh, let's save the little man, let's tax business, and everybody mm -hmm. yells, hooray. But they haven't figured out that every tax on business is just a part of the cost of production. And the customer winds up paying it when he buys the product. It's a hidden sales tax. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet, a place where animals play. It's called a forest, but every year we start forest fires, a careless match, a cigarette, and poof, fire. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened?